Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500, E-mini futures daily chart, and the green line here signifies the middle band. Uh, we emphasized yesterday that the bears really needed to have a big day. They didn't have a big day, and they really didn't have enough of a day. But what you're seeing, which we haven't really seen too much in the uptrend, is you're seeing the bears push back here. The middle band today is uh, about 91 half, more or less. We're trading four handles below that, uh, 87 half. Uh, we may be in a situation for the next two to three, three days where we really battle on either side of the middle band before the market chooses what direction it wants to go in. For a long time, headed into the summer, this was clearly a future that wanted to trade above the middle band. We took a trip through the lower Bollinger Band, back up through uh, middle band on, on that large down day that got rejected. We spent the rest of the time above the band, but not with the kind of fervor that we have seen during the course of the uptrend. So we saw things flatten out and trade down from 2011, and we've done you know, 23, 24 handles from there. If the bears want to take control of this market, they need to seal the green line as resistance, meaning they need to put in a decent size down day and close below the middle band. If they're able to do that, then they can begin to push down toward the 50 day exponential moving average and the lower Bollinger Band, which is coming in around 19, uh, right around uh, 66, 66 half. Um, so we're kind of in a, we're in a two-sided decision type time for the market here. And you can see on the chart there that the bears are starting to push lower. They need to continue that through the regular session and they need to close below the band. If that happens, then you're going to see people like me come off the fence, uh, maybe cover some of those long trades that we always have because they always work and start to do a little bit more from the short side and get a little bit more net short versus net long. So we'll have to see. Today should be a very interesting day. Okay, everybody have a good one. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, princetontrader.com. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.